This is a baritone ukulele, apparently. I mean, the hardware, the instrument, is a baritone ukulele. As a rule, baritone ukuleles are tuned D, G, B, E. Like the, four, the first four strings of a guitar. And it has nylon strings. Actually, two of them are wound strings. Quite thick strings because it has a short scale. And that gives the mellow typical sound of the ukulele. So it's a 100% ukulele, only lower. If you think ukulele is only bright, uh, not only bright, but uh, ukulele is a, as a metal sound, some people uh, confuse brightness with the sharpness of sound with a high pitch. No, uh, if, you pick, if you think ukulele are high pitch sounds, uh, instruments, um, a baritone is not a ukulele, but for all the other criteria, it's a ukulele. But there is another variant, of, there is another thing to take into account, which is the tuning. The tuning effect mainly this. What does it mean? All, all the chord shapes and scales shapes and scales and everything is different on this a baritone ukulele by PC is a Portugal Portuguese brand it's a full solid is no frills instrument but it's all solid it doesn't cost a lot around 140 euros which is a quite a bargain but uh, since I have other three baritone ukuleles and as you can surmise I have a, a penchant for ukuleles, baritone ukuleles. I have a sweet spot for them. They are sweet instruments that uh, allows you to sing without having the typical, somewhat, somehow, uh, childish ukulele sound. This particular ukulele that I haven't uh, tuned up is my personal sorry. For my backside is my personal take on tenor guitar or banjo. Tenor banjo. Actually, this is tune half a tone lower. To have a, a very good, uh, consistent, and this is not tune like this. You should use regular uh, tension strings for the first and the third and light tension for the second or the fourth because actually uh, this has guitar strings, these are guitar strings. The first and the third are tuned one and a half tone higher. For example A becomes C because it's the second, the, th the fifth, the fourth, the third the second and the first, but the second and the first are tuned two and a half tone higher than the guitar, so they are actually to have a quite a consistent tension. You should buy two sets of strings, regular and light tension. Regular, you use uh, the fifth and the second. Uh, 
string for the fourth and the second string and use light tension uh, the fourth and the fifth uh, the, the first string for the second and the first I don't know if I made myself clear otherwise use uh, same, same the same set use the first the fourth the second and the first and you can get by but if I were to um, play concert or, or um, if I were on a higher level I would uh, several several two mainly textbooks I use this tenor guitar method and the tenor guitar chord Quran not Bible as an atheist it's I don't care I find that just kind of ludicrous that they use the word Bible <laughs> which is has nothing to do with chords <laughs> Uh, it's like you call the, the Bible a chord this is a right chord book I come from Alabama with my banjo my knee I'm going to Louisiana my true love for to see it rained all night and it left the weather it was dry Sun so hot I froze to death. So sad I don't you cry. Oh, so sad. Don't you cry for me? For I come from Alabama with my banjo. Oh my. Obviously, if you have a smaller ukulele. I strongly recommend tune it like a mandolin C, G, D, A, E. Uh, and using always the same method, the first, the fourth, the second, and the first. And uh, if you want to be consistent, buying two sets uh, of strings. I hope that in time this kind of I hear the lonesome way the will is sound to blue to fly. That's a E. Uh, no, it's not like this. I slept in lonesome whippoorwill. It sounds too blue to fly. The me. Yes, it's here. 
I hear glum long the song whipper will a sound to bleak to fly the midnight train is winding low and so lonesome mind to cry. One of the things you notice that, um, as opposed to a regular ukulele, there's a lot of spacing between the strings, more spacing, and when that adds up, that adds up, sorry, and that makes the lowest note and the highest note quite far away. If you play in a specific way, you can hear the highest note. If you play in another way, Riding on a tinker and feeling mighty low. Today I'm out of face. I'm my way to Italy from the Gulf of Mexico. Riding on a tinker and feeling mighty low. You can ask yourself, well, this is a, what's a tenor guitar? This is a true blue, honest to God, tenor guitar. I strongly recommend if you want to Double in tenor guitar, and you don't have a lot of money. Try this Holly Benton because it's good value for money, and you can start with an instrument that is is a solid spruce top. I've been hammering this for more than three years. I can guarantee, I can warrant that this instrument. This, not all of them, I don't know, but this instrument stood the test of time. I hear the lonesome way there will it sounds so blue to fly. Why always play another chord? This is a E. I hear the lonesome whipper will be sounds to blue to fly. The midnight train is white low. It's a lonesome to cry. As you hear today, yeah. I made a lot of mistakes, more than I usually do, or more than I usually make them mistakes, those mistakes. Okay, also this, I had to use specific strings, I know the, the, ga the gauge, uh, because it's, this actually are um, uh, electric guitar strings, that makes good it's good when you amplify, less good when you play acoustic. Uh, you can find online by the Dario La Bella. I am on my way to Italy from the Gulf of Mexico. Obviously, this is a bigger instrument, and that's. But I am in love with nylon strings. And ukuleles and that is on my way to Italy Miguel from Mexico riding on a tanker and feeling mighty low my good girl behind me you're loving for so long I ain't going 
back to Texas Cause that's where I belong Obviously, I strongly recommend watching better uh, player than I am Better players than I am But that's just an idea uh, If you are like me uh, You're not uh, advanced You want to see the way the instrument sounds In the hands of a common person And that's the way it sounds uh, Because at the beginning You will not be playing like an accomplished player Mainly if you, even if you're a good guitar player or ukulele player, that's another, you have a learning curve. That's another kettle of fish, a horse of another color. Thanks for watching and let's consider um, buying a body tone and uh, if you like uh, uh, learning new chord shapes, they will have an effect on, you will be able to play this and changing right and the same chord shapes but different note they uh, you can play mandolin and um, Irish buzuki that is tuned like a mandolin so a whole new world of um, instrument opens up to you goodbye